Hi, I'm Chris from Philippines and welcome to my channel. So for today's reaction video, I have another requested video and this is about the activities of their majesties, the emperor and empress of Japan. This video was suggested by a viewer of mine. Thank you so much for your wonderful suggestion. Dewa sasuku, hajime masho. The thoughts of their majesties, the emperor and empress, are always with the people. In December 2015, His Majesty celebrated his 82nd birthday, and the empress celebrated her 81st birthday in October the same year. His Majesty acceded to the throne in January 1989 as the 125th Emperor of Japan. The Constitution of Japan states that the Emperor shall be the symbol of the state and of the unity of the people. His Majesty's official duties range from performing acts in matters of state which are provided for in the Constitution, such as appointing the Prime Minister, convoking the National Diet, and promulgating laws, as well as receiving foreign ambassadors. The Emperor, together with the Empress, hosts many people from all walks of life at the Imperial Palace and the Imperial Residence, offering them words of appreciation and encouragement. Their Majesties invited representatives of the people who recovered from Hansen's disease in various countries to the Imperial Residence and conversed with them. Ever since they were young, their majesties have visited the Hansen's disease sanatoriums around Japan and met the patients. Their majesties have always held special concern for the suffering and plight of the patients and have now met with patients in all 14 Hansen's disease sanatoriums throughout Japan, public and private. Their Majesties also attend various ceremonies that publicly honor those from Japan and around the world who have made outstanding achievements and help to promote science, culture, and art. As the Honorary President of the Japanese Red Cross Society, Her Majesty the Empress attends the annual meeting of the Japanese Red Cross Society and presents nurses with the Florence Nightingale Medal, which is awarded every two years in recognition of their distinguished services. Their Majesties place importance on keeping in touch with the people and travel to various places in Japan several times every year. Each year, they attend the National Arbor Day Festival, National Sports Festival, National Convention for the Development of an Abundantly Productive Sea, and international conferences held in Japan. On these occasions, their majesties have visited as many welfare facilities as possible and offer their warm words and comfort to the elderly the disabled, and the young children at the facilities. There's so many charitable activities. Mm -hmm. 
Every year in August, their majesties attend the memorial ceremony for the war dead and offer a silent prayer for those lost in the war. On the occasion of their visits to Okinawa, where 200,000 people lost their lives in World War II, their majesties, without fail, visit the memorials of the war dead on the first day of their visit. Their majesties pray and pay their respects to the war dead not only in Japan. In 2005, on the occasion of the 60th anniversary of the end of World War II, their majesties visited Saipan. And in 2015, on the 70th anniversary, visited Palau to pay their respects to the many Americans and Japanese who lost their lives in the war. When abroad, their majesties try to visit memorials for the war dead whenever possible. The emperor and empress say they never forget the sadness of the families of the deceased and will continue to pray for world peace. On March 11, 2011, Japan was struck by the Great East Japan earthquake, registering magnitude 9.0. It was the largest earthquake on record to strike Japan. A few days after the earthquake, His Majesty spoke on television to the people. In his message, the Emperor offered words of comfort to those affected and expressed appreciation to those engaged in relief activities and hoped that all Japanese would continue to care for the afflicted areas and the people for years to come. When a major natural disaster strikes the country, their majesties always try to visit the affected areas as soon as they can. At the affected areas, the emperor and empress mourn for the victims and offer warm words of comfort to those who are living under difficult conditions in temporary evacuation homes. Their Majesties visited evacuation centers in various areas seven weeks in a row after the Great East Japan earthquake and offered the people words of comfort and encouragement. Their Majesties always express their appreciation to those engaged in recovery and restoration efforts at the sites. Their Majesties, the Emperor and Empress, have visited 57 countries in the more than 50 years of their marriage. On these visits, they have met numerous monarchs, heads of state, and government leaders. They have also cherished the exchanges with ordinary people of those countries. His Majesty believes that the basis of international goodwill is mutual understanding, and that friendly relations can only be built on that foundation. At the Imperial Palace, His Majesty continues to observe rituals associated with rice cultivation, which lies at the core of Japan's farming culture. Every spring, His Majesty hand sows seed rice, plants rice seedlings in early summer, and reaps the rice crop in autumn. Her Majesty, too, has inherited the sericulture work as a tradition of the imperial family. Oh. 
she cultivates silkworms on the palace grounds by feeding them mulberry leaves and harvests the cocoons. They're so hands-on in everything. For many years, the emperor has made a taxonomic study of gobies, small fish found in fresh, brackish, and marine waters. He has identified eight new species of goby and published more than 30 papers on the results of his research. Wow. Awesome. For his work in this field, in 1998, His Majesty became the first recipient of the King Charles II Medal, awarded by the Royal Society of London to those heads of state who have made outstanding contributions to the advancement of science. Wow. From a young age, both their majesties have enjoyed waka and other forms of poetry. Many of them have been compiled into books and translated into foreign languages, including English and French. Every New Year's poetry reading at the Imperial Palace, along with the waka composed by their majesties and members of the Imperial family, ten waka, chosen from over 20,000 composed and submitted by the public, are chanted in the traditional way. It was Sister Filomene de los Reyes, a Filipina nun of the sisters of Saint Paul de Chartres and Her Majesty's longtime friend, who introduced the New Year's poetry reading ceremony to the world by publishing a book describing the ceremony in English for the first time, together with translations of the poems. Her Majesty has also translated poems by Japanese poets into English. At the request of the Japanese Board of the International Board on Books for Young People, IBBY, Her Majesty translated the poems of Mado Michio, the poet, into English. Later in 1994, Mr. Mado received the Hans Christian Andersen Medal, the first person in Asia to receive the award, considered to be the Nobel Prize of Children's Literature. Requested by IBBY, Her Majesty delivered a keynote video speech on reminiscences of childhood readings at the IBBY Congress in New Delhi, India in 1998. At the Jubilee Congress to commemorate the 50th anniversary of IBBY, held in Switzerland in 2002, Her Majesty was chosen to be one of the honorary presidents. At the opening ceremony where she gave a speech, she thanked the members of IBBY for all their efforts and believing in the wisdom and potential of children. Wow. Their Majesties take a walk through the garden of the Imperial residence before breakfast as part of their daily routine. And do some exercise too. On Sundays, His Majesty often enjoys driving his car to the East Gardens of the Imperial Palace, observing the trees and flowers and feeding the carp with Her Majesty. Since they were young, Her Majesty has accompanied His Majesty on the piano while he plays the cello. Their Majesties have always enjoyed music with the family. In the garden of their imperial residence, their Majesties sometimes enjoy picking horsetail plants, bracken ferns, and ginkgo nuts, together with the staff of the Imperial Household Agency. Their Majesties also enjoy playing tennis as a pair in their free time. Academic. 
Their Majesties first visited the Philippines in November 1962 as Crown Prince and Princess, as representatives of Emperor Showa in return for the state visit of President Carlos P. Garcia to Japan. They were welcomed by President Diosdado Macapagal and Mrs. Macapagal, Vice President Emmanuel Pelayas and others at Manila Airport. On the evening of their arrival, a banquet hosted by the President and First Lady was held at Malacanang Palace, the official residence of the President. The next day, His Majesty visited and offered flower wreaths at the Rizal Monument, which pays tribute to Jose Rizal, who worked for Philippine independence, and at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier, where Filipino military personnel and others who died in World War II and other battles are laid to rest. After that, their majesties visited the residence of General Emilio Aguinaldo, who became the first president of the Republic of the Philippines after leading his country to achieve independence from Spain. They stood on the balcony where independence was declared, together with the 93-year-old former president and Mrs. Aguinaldo. They also visited an orphanage and met with orphans and those working at the facility. In June last year, their majesties welcomed as a state guest President Benigno Aquino III and further deepened the friendly relations between the two countries. It is the sincere wish of their majesties, the emperor and empress, that their trip to the Philippines this time will further deepen the mutual understanding between the two countries and strengthen the friendly relations between the Philippines and Japan. Our late and former president of the Philippines. Oh, wow. This was a very informative video, very nice one. And I can't believe being an emperor and empress of Japan, they have lots of activities inside and outside Japan. Amazing. And they're so good in many aspects, music, sports. They're also doing farming. Unbelievable. Very humble person. They love their nation, their people. They care about others, even in other country. Considering their age, they're now in 80s. And there's new emperor of Japan. This video was very interesting, informative, and I learned so much about the emperor and empress of Japan. They have so many activities. Wow, that's amazing. Well, anyway, thank you for this wonderful video by MOFA channel. And guys, thank you also for watching with me. I'll see you very soon.